tonight we are going to be trying an experiment. We are doing Fallout 76 related to Mama's Mountain Mercantile, which is the store that is developing in Appalachia, in the wasteland of post-war apocalyptic U.S. And tonight we are going to be running the group that has a great deal of fun coming down to the store a couple of nights a week. So we're going to see how this all works. We might have some impromptu things going on. This ought to be kind of a fun experiment. We're just seeing how it all goes. So you're going to be introduced to Mama's store here shortly. For the storekeeper, I play a character known as Anna DeMont. Since my in-game name is Mountain Mama, you guys mostly know me as the crone, but in game I'm Mountain Mama. Anna DeMont is really a twist on the name of Mountain Mama. And I have this store on the road between Flatwoods and Morgantown. We've been running twice a week, we've been running this event, and the attendees are building. We've been having a lot of interesting stuff going on, so tonight we thought we might just stream some of this and see how it goes. So we will load up the game. Let's see if we get the first camp we request. These days, if you don't get your spot, you have to log back out. So we'll see if we can get in on the first go. Let's see what they give us. Drum roll. Ah, what do you know? I'm going to get it. I'm over encumbered because I am carrying all the stuff that I'm going to be trading for the night. So I'm obviously carrying way too much stuff. Luckily, I have not hit the 1,500 pound limit that they have where you can't even move. And it sounds like, as usual, something is going to be tearing up my camp. This is pretty much status quo. Let's see if I can find, whoops. Guess I better get a weapon on since I'm not carrying my usual weapon, that'll do for now. There they are. Usually I'm carrying a Tesla weapon that I can get them from a long distance, but tonight... Clear the area out for a bit, in hopes... I do not want to drink water, you stupid... Okay, well, we got those guys taken care of, and it looks like we've immediately got a fog rolling in, which always makes it great fun. I have recently installed a rad shower because I'm going to be installing mutations, and I wanted to have that, so I now have that. Let's take a look and see if my cow is here. It's never here. The first thing they always attack right away, it's always repaired when I log out. I don't entirely understand this. It's repaired when I log out, but when I log in, the camp has everything torn down, and I'm not quite sure how they tear my camp down when I'm not here. But, you know, it's computers. It is a mythical world, and mythical beasts are attacking the camp while I am gone. About normal, par for the course. And this in the fog, which you can't see very well because of the fog, is Mountain Mama's store, Mama's Mountain Mercantile. We've got all kinds of stuff, including beds upstairs. I tried to get a little bit of the feel of the old false front building that had the big flat front on it and the old stores, so that's kind of the appearance of what it's trying to do there. I've got a tool shed here which usually winds up with a lot of fun stuff going on because a lot of the people that come build mods and weapons for the uh, lower persons that are around and so forth. We have been having a little bit of trouble getting lower people to come because early days of the game it was so rampant that the higher level players were just drawing in lower people in order to slaughter them for whatever they were carrying. 
that it has gotten a reputation of that being all that happens here. However, the truth of the matter is, it's really pretty, pretty mild nowadays. They don't have near as much of that, and with the patch coming up next week, there's going to be even less of that. So I'm hoping that we'll see a lot of things. What I hope with the store is we can community build. This is a bathhouse, by the way, two-sided bathhouse there. Um, as I'm getting people into the store and people are having fun trading and are finding items that they need and so forth, I um, post my list twice a week on the uh, forums for Fallout, and that's how they know what I have. But as people are starting to realize there's a lot of trading going on here and things that can happen, we get more and more people coming each week. Had one week where people were complaining that they actually hit a queue. The maximum you can get in a server is 24 unless people specifically do a join or invite uh, related to each other. You can't do a team of 30 people because it only allows four. But we are able to get 30 if you at least do a join for a particular person. And I believe uh, in that way we are actually able to get 30 on this at one time. So that week we had a brief queue. And indicates there were a lot of people that week. Not all of them, of course, were at the store. Some of them were off somewhere else doing quests. But it was quite a bit of fun. We've got our band here, banjo, piano, tuba, guitar. So we've got all of that. And this is part of my construction. My Tinker's workbench is in here. One of the odd things that is very, people come in and they go, where's your stash box? There's no stash box. Just about everything's a stash box. All these counters are stash boxes. When you go outside, the garbage cans are stash boxes, which the garbage can has apparently been destroyed. Where's my garbage can? Interesting. Okay. I've never had the bad guys destroy my garbage can before. Let's see if we now have a garbage can. Yes. Now we have a garbage can. There's our trash can. It is a stash box. Same as everything else. Uh, somebody has killed the queen. Congratulations, whoever you are. This is the weapon or the armor workbench, and this is the weapons workbench. We have another toolbox in here that is a stash as well, and our chemistry station here. Then upstairs in the store. We have beds for rent. And just a little bit more space, I would put down one or two more beds up here. It looks a little bare at the moment. But uh, they are make part of the changes coming next week is they are reducing some of the items budget cost. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to get just enough more to fill up this upstairs space. I have so many items, this dresser is a stash as well, uh, I have so many extra items like the paintings and this kind of thing that I don't get a lot of room and the resource machines, the water and the Brahman pen out back, take up quite a bit of the bit budget so you have quite a bit of, of it gone. So my place isn't the huge sprawling place that some of them are able to build because they don't have all the extras in it, but I find it serves the store purposes quite well to give the impression of an old time store. As we come up on the time, by the way, you notice me jumping through here. There are actually rocks here. One of the things that they did was they flattened out the areas when you put down stuff so it at least looks better visually. But you run into rocks that you 
can't get past, so you have to jump over them. Always fun. There's my Brahma. And my farm with my mute fruit. My corn. My gourds. Some carrots over here. Just a few carrots in case I needed it. Because sometimes people will take my stuff and I don't have anything for mine. So I kind of hid some carrots over there just in case. My potatoes. My fusion generator, which does not appear... Yes, I guess it is. It's something like a wire when you attach that. But I guess it is. Yeah, alright. And my water plant. I just have a small one. It serves my needs. So that's all I really need. Interesting. I'm not getting any logs out of these today. Blueberries here. Razor grain. And my rad. Wash. Drive your car through and get rid of all the rads. Car wash. Too bad we can't have old beat up cars. I'd throw an old beat up car in the stream or something for an effect. It would be great. As we come up on the hour people will start logging in and joining us may get some of these quests off of the screen so that we only have what we are interested in well, must be a day. Yeah. need to make sure while I'm at it that my sound is set to area because it won't automatically s I tried to have it on auto up here instead of area and team but it doesn't seem to like to swap back and forth so I've had to pretty much swap it physically before it will work there are still a few issues with the game, but they are few and far between these days, and I'm actually getting where I'm really enjoying playing it. We've had a lot of fun with it. We've nuked a bunch of places and done various things. Let me see if they nuked, if they killed the queen, there must have been a prime nuke down here. Yep, there it is. They nuked this area, and a whole bunch of people were over here doing the queen. Congratulations to the group that did it. Let's see what we've got here. We've got a feral ghoul horde down there. Not too much going on tonight and ah uh, he always comes to the thing so I know he always comes over overburdened with a bunch of stuff so he's probably going to be walking all the way up to the thing. I, I always expect Riddle to be around. He's he always brings stuff for people. So we'll see if others will be joining us shortly. All right. How I set this up, and for those of you who may never have traded before, when you are trading, you face the person that you are going to be trading with, and two things will come up on the screen in front of you that will say invite to team or uh, invite to trade. One's an E and one is a space. You have to hold the space bar down until it completely fills around the circle in order to, to open the trade. This prevents you from accidentally hitting the space bar and opening a trade window all the time. I know in some other games I would be running along and I'd accidentally hit something while it was focused on an individual and a trade window would pop up and I'd have to close it out. So I like the fact that you you have to actually tell it, I really want this trade. I, I want to do this. And then once you do it, both of you get your inventories to come up. Let's take it off of the of that. You Both of you get inventories up that you can then go through. Let me use it like the stash would use it, which is very similar to how you would see it. This is the way you would see it on the trade window. 
the left one would be your equipment and the right one is the equipment of the person that you're trading with and basically you would hit the space bar on something you're interested in purchasing or interested in selling on your equipment it will ask you how many of them you want to sell what price you're going to set for that's a slider arrangement so it's kind of odd and we've got people and bad guys Let me s Hi Riddle, saw you coming. Just a second, let me set this on no push to talk. I'm on stream already, so I'm I'm talking to the people. Let me set this so it's an open mic. Cool. Okay, there we go. I should be able to talk without having to push, and I can... So you'll hear a constant pitter-patter of stuff going on behind me because I'm telling... I was giving them a tour of the store and how we're set up and how we do the trades and so forth when we were doing this, so... That's oh, excellent. I can't wait to see, can't wait to see the, the final product. Yep. Anyway, this is uh, CTO Riddle. Uh, what's your character's name, since they don't show it on... Uh, I think it's um, it's Joseph Traveler, if I'm not mistaken. Joseph Traveler. Okay. I yeah. need to ask people what their their names are. I do wish they'd give us give a little hint under the name so we could actually see it. It would be neat, I think. My character, by the yeah. way, is Anna Demont. I've never said that to you. She's Anna Demont. So. Oh, cool. Yes. Well. I I think you mentioned it one time I was sitting standing in the corner you were talking to somebody so hopefully we'll get a crowd tonight uh, last on Monday we had a real big crowd yeah we did <laughs> and it just kept going and going the band kept no. playing and playing <laughs> yeah we went on I figured tonight if we uh, go long we might run over to Deathclaw Island and see if maybe we can uh, if any I'd like to have some lobbies come by and we'll take them on a run through Pleasant Valley and up to Deathclaw Island. That would be fun. Yeah, I was hoping we'd get some more around. Um, I got, uh, today I ran into a group of four newbies and so I'm a little low on plans. Had to go raid my stash box for this. <laughs> it's all good. But, uh, the idea is to oh, get yeah. it into the hands of the people who need it. Doesn't have to go through my store. So I'm perfectly happy to have that happen. Yeah, I usually dump, whenever I get in fights uh, with a lots and lots of Scorched, I dump all the weapons in one of the trash cans or something and, and you know, yell at whoever's there, hey, if you need mods, go scrap this stuff. Yep. It worked out pretty good. We had three different runs up at the airport today with some loadies. Nice. So. Yeah. Real nice. So we'll see how many show up. A few people that are usually, I, I warned them not to, to rush me too fast, and I think they took me a little too literally, so <laughs> probably going to show up about 10 minutes late, but that's okay. Um, yeah. But anyway, I have to rush home, get everything set up, and get in the store, and when I'm streaming, it makes it doubly so, so it's interesting. you have anything you are looking for that I might have? Uh... I think so. I was hoping to run into, I think it was Triple X, uh, the guy that was making the T-51s. I'm collecting a set. I'm missing a left arm and a left leg. But um, you had uh, optimized browse, uh, optimized servos, I think, or bra, um, <clears throat> it's the optimized mod, I think it was, instead of the plans. Yeah. It was the one the that didn't have the names. T-60 or the other thing? It's the standard one that I guess it goes with everything. Okay, let me take a look here real quick. So it's a mod that you're looking for, not a plan. Well, I was looking for the plan, but I haven't seen them. So I was going to go over to the uh, power bench and see uh, exactly what I can and cannot build. But I was looking in that in the motorized, uh, the, op the um, mm, I really can't talk today, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're streaming, that's why I can't. Uh, All right. It's the one for the chest, uh, the torso. It's Marine? The, um, the, no, the motion uh, activated thing. Okay. Let me go take a look and see what motion assist servos. That's the one. Let me go take okay. a look because 
I've been collecting stuff and I got a whole three pages of plans for you to go through to see if you've got something if I got something you don't have. Very good. And I've got the motion assist servos. They're here. So that works out. I'm I'm trying to remember, Triple X may have said he couldn't make it tonight, but another one, like Bama Jama or whatever his name is, he's planning on coming by for do, making mods for people, so we'll still have somebody. Bama John. Bama John, okay. He's still offline. Most of the people, as a matter of fact, I usually see are offline. Yeah, it looks like I'll uh, need both of them. They, um, unless they're not specific to P51s. I know I can make uh, quite a bit the um, excavator armor, but. Uh, and I've got some for the T60s that I've picked up along the way, but uh, I saw the Coca-Cola one and I said, well, let me start collecting <laughs> the T51s. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it was funny. I, I've had them before, and uh, somebody was running around chasing, looking for a right leg, and all I found today was right legs. Couldn't find a left leg or a left arm <laughs> to save me. Well, like I always say, I've said it several times, but it's, it is the truth in all the games, and wow, whatever character you went into a raid dungeon with, invariably the things that dropped were for your other alt, and it was bound, and you couldn't get it to it. And it was like... Yeah, or or, or the, like I said, I, I, who, I was talking to um, Farmer Fran. The AI, uh, you know, I, it knows what we need. It really does. Yeah. And it says, I'm going to play with you. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I know it knows. It's got to. Yep. Oh, uh, let's see. <clears throat> I hope the streaming doesn't scare everybody off thinking, oh, God, I don't want to be streamed. <laughs> Hopefully not. At least their faces aren't showing. I had all kinds of problems with my D&D &D people because, oh, I don't want my face to be shown. And I was like, look. If an old lady can get out there and show her face, you kids can. Give me a break. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I was on the the forum today. is all lit up with the the new changes coming. I can't wait till. Oh the, yeah. The 12th. yeah uh, just, just to get it. And, and you know, it's really going to be funny. It's probably going to be another one of those, you know, 50 gigabyte drops. But I don't care. I just want to see the the. Uh, the new stuff and then they're promising some other changes so yeah, it's it's positive that's what i like to say yeah i i just and i i'm frustrated on the forums because no matter how much they seem to try to aim at what people are complaining about they just complain about something else and <laughs> i it's like people they have given you so much since this started and still you're going oh this is junk no it's not they have really fixed it. They have really given us a lot and they're listening to us with the things we need. We're going to probably be able with those changes to be able to squeeze some more things into our camp, which I was just saying on the stream. I'll be able to put in a couple more beds upstairs, which I want. It's very empty upstairs. I want to have more, a little bit more of a in feel up there. And the various stuff, a few more things, and then they're going to have don't think it's on this patch, but it's one coming soon that they're going to let us set things on shelves and counters. That will be wonderful. Be yeah, to... once that happens, then I'm going to invest. Uh, you know, I'm going to be doing a lot of farming to invest in a bigger in a bigger camp because I like I want to collect certain items and be able to put them on the shelves. Yeah. yeah one person and wants I... to collect a whole bunch of teddy bears and set them out and think yep. it'd be fun. <laughs> just just plain yep. fun. For anyone who hasn't played this game, there's there, you collect teddy bears everywhere, and they're all different. Pink ones, blue ones, striped ones, they're all kinds of things. Yep. Found my, I think it was the third or fourth model 
Uh, just for the audience, I'm an old Fallout 1, 2, 3, and 4 in New Vegas, and you get in the habits once you've played those for thousands of hours. And I used to collect certain things. And I love to collect the, uh, the bobbleheads and the, the little models. And uh, today I ran into the, uh, I've got the Mr. Gutsy and the several others. But, you know, out of the way places. And you just look up on the shelf and there's one there. And it's like, oh, wow. Oh, another one. <laughs> but you can't put them anywhere yet. So you got to hang on to them. Yep, it's uh, it's frustrating, but it's coming, it's coming, and little by little, they can't do everything all at once, and I swear to goodness, even if they did, if they got everything all at once that everybody wanted it, somebody would be complaining because they didn't do something else, so I, you know. Right. I, I, this is a free game. I mean, you, you pay your initial investment to buy the game. But you don't have to pay for the server time that you do on some of the other ones. And they're still listening. And, you know, that's that's great. I mean, there was the, uh, <clears throat> the, the fear that you get that my iPad, I used to love apps, but now it's all in-game purchases constantly. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, I'm sorry, I, I don't want to spend, you know, $30, $40 to get my stars so that I can get this, that, and the other. Well, but, um, so far, they're not doing it for this one. One game, I won't, I don't like dissing games, so I won't say the game name, but some people who play it may recognize the description. I played it quite a bit. I, I'm, I have characters across a number of MMOs that are rather famous villains. And um, this one game that I had, we had, they had, uh, kind of like this game is doing now, where you can put clothing over your stuff and make your your armor look like it's dress clothing or whatever and we collected tons of these things for the various parts that we played in the game and then they suddenly decided that well no these aren't free and they suddenly took them all away and made them purchase and that was about the point that I left the game because I had already collected stuff and they took it away. And yeah, and I'm just hoping that doesn't go this way. I, 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 I don't, I don't think, think this so, will. but you know, I think that as long as, cause this is worldwide. I ran into, I was, Oh, I have no life. I was running around, I think 2 AM last night and I ended up playing with some people in India. Uh, we did, um, uh, uranium fever together. <laughs> I mean, it's just people are from everywhere, you know, and, and right. you just follow the clock. <laughs> exactly. I used to play a lot with some uh, people in Sweden. We had a great time. They could speak English better than I could. It was amazing. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it. This is. I love the worldwide tabletop feel of all of these games. Whether it's the D and D on Roll Twenty, or it's this, or one of the other MMOs. You can play with people all over the world. I used to tease one of our Australian. Uh, friends that that he was one of those people hanging upside down by his heels you know we just were always joking about things in the game and we had a wonderful time do you want to get that mod now or do you want to wait until somebody shows up that can put it on yeah let me go ahead and and, and uh get those let's let's start a trade because i've got a bunch of um Mods I want you to look at are, well, I got mods too, but uh, a bunch of plans and recipes. And if you don't need them, I'm just going to drop them down at the overseer's cache. That's fine. As I was telling the audience, as you saw, I held the space dip bar down until it filled, and he accepted the uh, invite for the trade. Now, he can see all of my things on this side. I can see all of his things on this side, so we can look at what we've got here and whether or not we want to trade back and forth. What I look for these days, Riddle, is mostly things that I don't have available for people because I try to get a variety of many things. Like I don't, ha I know almost everything. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, of course, we open a trade and there's already somebody out there. It never fails. Yeah, that's one of those stupid little robots. Let's go get him. Try to destroy my camp, will you? Ha! <laughs> yeah, 
guy's already destroyed figures. Let's grab a couple of these and fix a couple of these. I don't know why they love these mute plants so much. There we go. The good thing about them liking the mute plants as a fence, it's part of the reason I put them there, is they spend all their time breaking down the mute fruits and they don't spend all their time breaking down my buildings. And we had somebody here. Where'd he go? Was he just passing Nobody through? Nobody here, but that's chickens. Oh, it's Brian, I think. Yep. Hey, hey. I recognize the voice. I'm getting where I recognize you guys' voices. It's that ter <laughs> terrible Illinoisan accent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Let me get that um, mod, get that, uh, just for the audience's information, it always, whatever the first item is up there, it always pops that up and you have to hit tab and get out of that. Now, let's see, we wanted mods, and you wanted the, somewhere here, you wanted the motion assist servos. There it is. Okay. Offering, um, Riddle and Brian and a lot of these people are always giving me stuff, so I just give them stuff back. It's just trade and trade alike, because they're always handing stuff in, so they kind of have an open tab here. So there's your bracers and your servos if you want them. We'll get those handled. Go ahead and accept those so we know that trade's handled, and then we'll worry about the plans. There we go. Now let's take a look at plans and see... Okay, I'll click the ones that I don't have and I think people might be interested in. I have file cabinets now. I think I'll file cabinets and the hmm. Ooh. That one, they might make sure I don't have it on here, but I think that... No, I do have one on there. Okay. Okay. And the... How about those three would be really good on the uh, things, if you could let me have those, because those will fill in some holes on things that people don't have. For those watching, um, Gamer, um, I don't think I have those. Those are pretty hard to come by. The, I don't think I have any building plans, either metal or anything. People on the stream are asking me about it, and I, I'll look in a moment, but I, no, I don't believe I have any building plans. Boy, I would like to be able to get them. Let me pop these in real quick here so that I have them and we don't lose that trade. That It's real easy to break out a trade, so you have to be very careful to get your trades done. Uh, let me look at what I've got overall here and see, but I don't think I have any building plans at all. Which brings the question, Riddle, do you have any kinds of building plans? Rick? No, no. Any of them? Uh, in fact, that's what I'm look. I have been looking for the, one of the challenges today is to build a door. I can build a door. I don't have a doorway. So I got to figure <laughs> out. <laughs> that was in my I camp wonder if it'll count if I come over to your camp and build it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, I don't have any. As I thought, I don't have any of the building plans. So I'm also looking for the large letters. So if anybody comes by with that, they've got it. So. Uh, Unless you want yeah, something else. Yeah, I've an else. eye out for you, but so far, no good. Right. But once I find them, if I find them, I'll grab them and let you know. Very good. It took me a long time to run across those building plans. They were they were hard to come by, I'll tell you. 
so I, outside of going and paying through the nose for them. Well, it's like the signage and letters was 9,200. Yeah. And even with popping the Mentats and upping Charisma and getting a bobblehead, they only got them down to 85. Yeah, I, I was saving for them when somewhere in one of the legendaries, I opened up a legendary kill and had them. And I mean, I was doing handstands. It was like, oh, goody. I don't have to spend this money. Yes. So now I'm trying to save. Uh, I've got some serums, but I'm trying to save for the actual plan to make the serums on the uh, marsupial. Never can remember what that's called. The monkey. Yeah, that that one looks cool. That that I've I was playing. Uh, we were trying to take the Poseidon uh, plant and three of them had those and it was like trying to keep track of them it's like no 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 I was <laughs> they were everywhere I was in a queen kill the other day and about six of the people who were fighting her had marsupial and they could you know get up to her flying above and all kinds of things and it was like this so yeah I want marsupial marsupial if anybody has not played Fallout 76 gives you the ability to jump very high at the expense of some intellect so it's a trade-off you lose the the abilities if you take rataways and various things so you have to have there are perks in the game where you can do these perk cards and one of the perks that you can do is um, on the I think it's on luck, isn't it, for the starch jeans? Yeah, starch jeans here, this one. And if you have two, if you've combined into a full maximum starch jeans and put it on, you are very resistant to the rad shower. It won't take it away as easily. So that's a really good thing to have. I have one unused point here, but I need two points to use that starch jeans. So I'm going at my next promotion, I'm going to be transferring one of these points. I, I'm not sure where from, probably from strength or something. I will be transferring it out in order to get the one more luck perk that I need in order to put those starch jeans on. So what has Brian cooked? Oh, I figures. Gee, canned coffee. I wonder where that came from. Don't worry about it. Always coffee. He always brings the coffee. We can count on him to bring the coffee. Fine, I'll put something else in the bag. <laughs> See Here, if he bourbon. Out. Yeah, it's... okay. And rice and beans. There's your rice and beans. You didn't see any rice and beans in that bag. <laughs> he, I think he's trying to break the bank. He's hoarding rice and beans. So he's, it's become a joke that he, he takes all the rice and beans. I do yeah, like Yeah, check this coffee. bag out. I just dropped two uh, cosmetic items in this bag you might be able to sell. I've got a witch. I haven't been able to sell it. I've had it running around for a while. Um, I don't know if it's 10 to... Uh, 21030 or whatever her name is, or one of them brought by the the thing, which reminds me if she comes by, she's going to need Discord. I better get a Discord up here just in case so that I know what's going on with her. Okay, doesn't look like she's online at the moment see what the list of friends shows as far as people getting on or not. Usually by now we got a lot more people. A lot of people online on other servers. When it says online it means they're on other places. And a lot of people offline tonight. He's going to be by tonight. Bone driver's out of the country at the moment. Uh, Duty was going to be coming by. Usually Dr. Maxman is by. He's offline. There's a lot of people that are offline. Even Farmer Fran's offline tonight. 
supply traps offline. Yeah, awful lot of people are offline tonight. I'm scared that the streaming scared them away. They don't want to be on a stream. We'll see if it turns out that nobody shows up because I'm streaming. Uh, that'll be the end of the, the store streaming. We'll have to stop that because I'd rather have the store. Don't want to scare them away. I scare away enough lobbies just by being a level 80. Well, I rub myself down with Yogwai fat and lie and then put on my fancy shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Slick your hair down with, with bear fat. Bear grease. Yeah, I get that bar grease in your hair. Yeah, that, uh, that hunter's long coat's actually highly sought after. So you... So you just giving that one away? Yeah. Oh, if, cool. if, if she doesn't want it, you can take it. Well... I'm, I've got an extra. I'm wearing it right now. Well, the, uh, I'll give Riddle the first call on it if he wants that. If not, I will hang on to it. Because that one I don't have. Yeah, I... I haven't, uh, thank you. I, uh, is there anything you need? I mean, you already dropped your Cajun rice and beans, so I'm good. <laughs> I don't suppose I have any. I don't think I have any tonight. Do I have any rice and beans tonight? None there, and none there. Nope, no Cajun rice and beans. Red beans and rice aren't on the menu tonight. Yeah, usually uh, I go through a couple of places and find more. I was going to bring some, but evidently I walked by some behind somebody and they grabbed them. So my husband's a New Orleans boy, so we eat a lot of red beans and rice. <laughs> uh, yep. Whenever I burn the food, I used to call it blackened. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was the black and Cajun is what stuck to the kettle. They put it over the fire. That that's blackened. That's that's blackened popcorn. <laughs> and then that one time I burned the salad. That's hard to do. That's hard to do. I must admit. What kind of salad got cooked? <laughs> Toss salad. Mmm. You're not supposed to toss it on a hot plate. I'll be. There's just nobody on the map tonight. I don't know what's going on. Normally we just have crowds by now. I go out, play a banjo, and see if it brings them. Am I the only one that was slightly disappointed by the banjo music selections? I'm disappointed by the fact there's only one selection, period. Well, I'll look forward to you coming out, gamer, when you are able to get here. It will be great. Anybody we can get is wonderful. Duty's online. He'll be coming. Say, I barely made it. I just got off work. Only thing is I say I can say about the band is that at least it's better than the music box. Uh, anybody out there watching don't get the music the jukebox it will drive you completely insane there are only about three songs and they play over and over again and when you cannot stand them anymore and you turn the jukebox off and you walk away from camp you come back the jukebox is back on again and so the jukebox is gone vanished i took it out i couldn't take it anymore 
turned off. Ah! Hi there! Yeah, the uh, forum was talking about obnoxious music, and they were talking about White Springs, and I said, no, obnoxious is somebody building a camp right next to the train station and setting up three sirens and having them going off continually. I was in there trying to, you know, uh, use the workbench and it was like I want to nuke it <laughs> I see Charlie the moo moo Where? Oh, cool. here here behind slocums oh I pretty well sold everything I need to sell what is he connected to Brotherhood of Steel at first, I thought he was connected to Free States, but apparently it's Brotherhood of Steel. Which seems kind of weird that he'd be Brotherhood of Steel. I can't quite wrap my mind around the logic on that. Hey Maybe. there, Mama. How you doing? I'm doing great, duty. Yeah, good. Well, I figured I'd come pick up my um, optimized t60 whatever it was yeah let's <laughs> finally get that to you see did I, I think i left it in the thing to make sure i didn't accidentally yeah <laughs> yeah i got it your t60 calibrated perfect <laughs> yeah he, we've been trying to trade that and we wind up getting involved with something else and it gets left behind and so tonight we're going to make sure he gets his t60 calibrated shocks yeah, there we go. It works out right. So, okay, is that that's your light going on and off? Okay. <laughs> anyway, hey, I actually um, got all rise today. Oh, right nice. Um, nice. But it's yours if you want it. <laughs> no, I've got an all rise. That's oh, I know. I, I don't know if somebody else might. But uh, oh, I have people try to buy mine off of me all the time. Oops. Sorry well. For that. Now you'd have one to sell if you want. Yeah, I have to admit that that is, uh, I would very much like that. All right, first let's get these overdrive. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Not those. I want, my, let me go down here. T60. Calibrated shocks. That's nope. right there. Yeah, and I'm taking it down to zero. Okay, it's offered. Get that. And buy. There you cool. go. Okay, <laughs> you definitely got it now. And of course, the minute we go into a trade, something starts going blam, blam, always. Oh, there we go. It, this seems to be the night for these things. This is like the tenth one that's come by. They have chewed up so yeah. much of my mute fruit. Funny. That time they were attacking my my power armor station. Yeah, it's down to about oh, a third. Funny. Jeez. You just can't do anything about those guys. Well, I last, know. last uh, what, Monday, last Tuesday, whatever it was, that was uh, that was the uh, mutants that showed up, so. Yeah, it's each night has <laughs> its night for the things. It'll be scorched, or it'll be mutants, or it'll be these yeah. stupid little commie bots. I always say, 
Um, <laughs> that I know, I and I always say, this is like, well, how do they sell this in China? I mean, wouldn't this be an insult to somebody in China? Um, You'd think, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. So what? What do they sell? What are the things called in China? Yankee bots? Probably. <laughs> I, I mean, come on. Oh, jeez. I know what hey, the fifties were like. I lived through it, but nevertheless, Good. it still it just leaves me shaking my head. So, if anybody's from uh, China, I apologize for the game. Now, hey, we are a universal uh, fight for our life group here, so yeah, it's all good. <laughs> Oh. I need to eat a little and drink a little here. As usual. Here we go. Definitely. We go. Hey, well, look, I also, um, I ran across a 38 caliber uh, night scope sniper rifle, and I have no use for it. And it's like a 45 or 50 level. Is it and a straight or a legendary? I, it is just a straight, actually. But uh, it's nothing I've run into before, and there might be somebody that would like to have a 38 caliber. If nothing rifle else, of some somebody might need the mod, and might want to use it for getting a mod out of it. So, oh, that's possible. I mean, no so guarantee always... if they. Yeah, no guarantee they'll get the mod. Oh no! The then they but... hopefully they know that that it's you know yeah, only like 50 yeah. 50 chance that you're going to get it out of it. I seem to yeah. get, be very good at getting mods. I'll get an awful lot of them sometimes. So Yeah, well, good. Well, let's go back. And there's all rise. Oh, well, here, hold on. I'm going to set things to zero and we'll just figure out what we want to do later. Yeah, and it's you pretty think much you've got an open tab on mine, so. There we go. <laughs> How about a exterminator's Grodnax axe? I'm not much of a melee person. I don't, so it's not worth very much, actually. But it is a one star at least. Yeah, if it's got legendary on it, uh, that's always something people will sometimes be interested okay. in. So I try to keep the yep. one stars as much as possible. Oh, so, oh yeah. Sorry, I missed it. How about for you? people in video land? It is so easy on this game to roll down and. Sometimes the menu will jump, and suddenly well, you're yeah, you can't. Yeah, you literally can't use the mouse. Yeah. Um, but anyway, the the 38. Well, the, it's a yeah, 38 caliber cal uh, sniper rifle, hasty. So it's got a. I think that's, that's just good. probably the receiver in it. Yeah. Okay. It's just faster to load, uh, I think. Let's see. We're just gonna do that. And the last thing I have. That. I no longer need is another quad armor armor piercing sniper rifle who does 308 okay um, 22 cartridges I think uh, I didn't make it auto uh, but you know that's the last item it's not worth all that much but uh, oh, don't move the mouse <laughs> Okay. Well, and I also have a a vampire's Chinese officer sword, another cheap item, but at least it's a one star. Yeah, um, and people frequently ask me what I've got in vampire. A lot of people like okay. the vampire. Well, you know, it's kind of funny. The this was all the rewards from doing the uh, mayor mayor for the day and uh, clearing out clearing out the civic center, and I think that's it. Okay. Very okay. good. So, let's see. Now, how do we get to you? All right. So, <laughs> you have weapons up sometimes. I, yeah. A lot of times, it, I have to click back and forth from inventory to weapons and back again before it'll show it. So, that's yeah. what was going on there. It'll show as a blank. I was on full inventory and nothing okay. was showing. When I went oh, to weapons, it showed. So, sometimes okay. you have to go back and forth between the two in order to Oh, gotcha. To gotcha. Okay. Okay, okay, now do you want to look through my inventory nights if there's anything you need for you? Or do you need yeah, any kinds of look. stims or rads or anything that I can give you to help offset all that stuff? 
Well, there might be a mod or something. Let me take a quick look, okay? Um, get rid of that. And I don't know if there's any weapons that... But, nah, not enough. <laughs> uh, the good got thing about a hat and a nice outfit. <laughs> good thing about my plans is they're usually free, which, you know, compared to the 9,500 or something at a vendor, uh, makes them a deal and a half. Yeah. I'll take your ultrasight ore, at least. Okay. And let's do that. And. I'll go over the last two, uh, let's see, notes, and I don't know if there's some plans that I could use or not, so. My apologies to everybody standing around waiting for me to finish. <laughs> Most of them are not trading, they're, they're just uh, watching what's going on, so. Okay. It's How no big about, deal. I think, I think I, what I'd like to do is, is take the ultrasight right arm plan, and okay. that's worth 500 and we'll just call it good for everything else. Suits me. That sound reasonable? Yeah, I'm, I'm good okay. with that, so absolutely. Okay. That one's set to zero. Come on. The thing jumps too <laughs> fast. The thing jumps too fast to zero when you're trying to, you know, okay. fine-tune it. And when Buy you want item. to go 500 yeah. down, it goes real slow. Okay, and I'm not sure it actually... Did we get the... It's out of my bag, so it ought okay. to be in yours. Uh, it seems like... Yes, you've got it. Ultrasight right arm. And how about that... How about that ultrasight or... That was the only other thing. That one That one went to... It's under missile okay. lane as it should be. Uh, oh, no, missile. no, you haven't picked it yet. You need to oh. look at... Oh, there we hit, go. Got it. Hit space bar on it. There we go. There okay. you go. Now you got We're it. Good. Okay. Well, thanks, gentlemen and ma'am, for your all your patience. You betcha. Uh, now I got to go make dinner. <laughs> you guys take it easy, okay? You betcha. And gamer on the stream. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I. It's still so much hazy about exactly how they're going to do player vendors. I don't know whether I'm excited about it or not because I just don't know enough about it. Apparently there's going to be vending machines and I don't know what the limits are going to be, how you stock it up. I don't know. So well, we'll know the details as soon as they release it. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice if it adds to the caps that you can get from the vendors, but there was one hint on one that tended to indicate that it came out of the same number. So Oh, God. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'm. I'll wait and see if I'm excited about the camp well, vendors. Yeah. yeah, that's every time they do an update, I I wait and see if I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you guys take it easy, okay? <laughs> Bye. You betcha. Thanks for coming by, duty. Thank you. See you next week. <laughs> yeah. You bet. See you Monday. That's what I forgot. Can I take a look at your weapons? Absolutely. That is, uh, yeah, wanted to make sure it was you. Can, and so can half of YouTube. Hell yes. Yo, hey, um, so, Sco uh, not Skull, I'm sorry. Uh, Schneck scrapped, Schneck scrapped his fucking ultra sight. He needs to give you items to make another one, Brian. I love you. Okay. He's, uh, we're switching to the server. He'll be here in just a second. So what, you streaming or something? Nope.
that's Mountain Mama. Can he hear me I or hear only you? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Yeah, I'm streaming it. I do streaming for D&D, nice. and tonight I'm streaming uh, Mountain Mama's store. So, yeah, Dude, we're... that's awesome. Fantastic. Glad you could come by. Yeah, Welcome I didn't even know to you the Mercantile. Yo, can I add you and stop? Can I actually, like, browse your wares? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what it's here for. So just stick an invite up, no problem, and I will accept it. Man, you, I might be bringing you some more business. We got a bunch of guys who are always buying shit, so. Oh, yeah, you're online. That's why I'm not finding it on that list. Got to look at the top. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, there we go. And let me back out of this and invite you to trade. Take a look. Whoops. Oh, can't move. Basically, anything that's in there is something I've got. I put all my stuff back, so that, which is why I'm carrying a fire axe for a weapon, because I make sure that the stuff that I want to use is hidden away. Did you get to see everything, or did it break out? Kind of quit out of the trade rather quickly, so I didn't know if you had seen everything. Sorry, I jumped in. Uh, I jumped in group. I got cut off. I was in auto. I saw all the items. Uh, what I was wondering about is I can't. I couldn't see the traits. What are the traits on that trapper chess piece? Uh, let me take a look and get a better idea yeah, on it. That's the uh, actual uh, apparel, not a uh, mod or something. Yes. Okay. No, the, the apparel, that chess piece, yeah, that three star, the full level 45. Oh, the auto stem. Yeah. Yes. Uh, reduces damage while standing and not moving by 15%. I'll take Le it. Level I'll 45. Take it. I'll take it. Okie doke. Let's open uh, that's the, that's the trade. What's the last trade, actually, just out of curiosity? Let me look again. Yeah, take your uh, time. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's uh, level 45, uh, perfect condition, damage resist is 32, 14 on energy, 32 on nuke, personality, or a perception. And I what mean. was the last trait? You said the first one was auto stim, the second one was um, sentinels, and what was the last trait? Uh, reduces damage while standing and not moving is the only thing. I've got auto stim, trapper, chest piece. I don't see any other thing on it no third trait yeah. okay well yeah that's um let me take a look again invite me to trade yep yeah max level i'll take it let's do it okay uh what do okay. you sell what are you selling it for um i either sell it for if you just want straight caps half of what suggested suggests 369 Call it 360, so I'd sell it for 180. Or if you've got something you want to trade for it, I will take barter. Yeah, I'll give you 200 for it. I'll give you 200 for it. Okay. I give you a little extra. That second trade's pretty good, dude. Like I'm, I'm kind of building a set off that, so it helps me a lot. Okay, it's offered for 200. Oh, you got the auto stim girded. Uh, oh, right I did. Yeah, sorry about that. Let me take that oh, off. <laughs> no worries. Let me just get the chest piece up and set it at 200 and forget about the other one. Just accept the chest piece since it's fighting, getting it taken off for the moment. There we go. And enter. There we go. Take the one that you do want. Hey, thank okay. you very much. I'm actually going to replace my armor right now with it. Very good. Please go behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the bathhouses are for. 
The bathhouses serve as a fitting room as well, you see. I put on my ugliest oh, purple sweater. I see, I see. Our world is full. We are queued. There are people waiting to join the world. Yes, there are literally we people on my team waiting to join. Yeah, there's yeah. we were with uh, we're with six people that are all probably going to want to shop your wear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that happens quite a bit. They were complaining on there. My server is always empty, and I'm like, well, I, maybe I took them all. <laughs> I don't have that problem. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Kenpo Man. Let's see. Friend, let's see who else on here wants one. If anybody else has got it, make sure I'm not missing anybody. It's easy to miss them. The, the list is getting long. I, I am testing the server capability of holding friends. I'm a little worried at May some point. Yes, absolutely. That's what it's there for. Um, I'm a little worried at some point they're going to go, no, you have too many friends, just like your stash, it is full, you will have to drop some. So I'm hoping not, because I'm over 70 <laughs> now. So we will, I am testing the server limits for friends. They don't all like me, but they have to friend me just to find the store. Oh, yeah, this is great. Thank you so much. You betcha. Glad you were able to get something. Always glad when people find a bargain at Mountain Mama's. Gamer, that's what I don't know. That's what I'm holding my breath to find out. Like I said, I'm over 70 of friends. I'm over 70 myself, too. But friends, I'm over 70. And... I keep asking on the forums and hoping Bethesda will answer me if there's a limit because I'm really worried at some point they're going to go, no, you can't have any more friends. So we'll see what happens. Hey, they might be having trouble getting onto your server and I don't want to block it up. Uh, let me give you the stuff, Brian, and I'll just bring it back to him. Yeah, I'm actually short on aluminum. I got you. I got Al you for everything. Dude. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll get you for everything, dog. Usually, Need if they wait them, for a little bit, bolt. usually if they wait for a little bit, somebody either disconnects or slides off the server, and we wind up with another space. I always say, well, the restaurant has a line. Uh, you have to be, wait to be served. So when somebody gets up from the table, I'll hand you a menu. But yeah. Wait a minute, I think I'm blowing aluminum too. How much do you need aluminum wire? <laughs> One. And I've got, I've always got mats. So if you yeah, need materials, I always carry, usually I have at least two of each. I, I think on me I have one of just about everything. Junk. Yeah, I've got a bulk aluminum, one on me and one in stash. So if you need aluminum, yeah. Dude, fucking, they're probably like, why can't we get into this world? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I said, this world has the opposite problem. Yep. Yeah, this is really great. Wow. Actually, if you want to, Matt and Mama, while you're waiting, uh, just real quick, go swing up to my, uh, my, oh shit, you can't see. Are you in a group right now? Me? No. Here, come swing up to my, uh, my camp real quick and take a look. I'm doing something similar. I'm not vending today, but I run pretty a pretty cool uh, vendor stop if you want to check it out. Give me a hint of where it's located. Seneca Rocks. Seneca Rocks, center of that. Oh, yeah. I used to have, not far from there, I used to have... Uh, just, uh, before you port up there, just word of warning, before you port up there, just throw on some power armor real quick, just in case. Like, I'll have pretty to. much every spawn's been good. I have to anyway, because I'm massively overloaded. In fact, I'm not even sure. <laughs> uh, I won't even be able to port. I can't. I'm going to have to do it later. 
Because I'm holding so much stuff for sales. Rush, rush. Even with my excavator. Yeah, even with my excavator, I won't be able to get up there. Uh, let me drop group because it'll throw me, I think, into team chat instead of... Every, can every, Brian, can you hear me? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Okay, good. I'm still in area. I want to make sure that I was still in area chat because sometimes it throws me just into team and then nobody in the area can hear me. Is this bag up front for donations? Yes. Take, leave, whatever you want. I'll drop you some stuff. Hey, thank you, Brian, very much. No problem. There's also a bag behind the counter. Here, let me... No, I'm going to leave you guys some stuff. I'm good on picking shit up, but I got some things I need to donate. may hear dogs whining in a moment. Uh, every night at this time, my husband gives them a treat and they go completely bonkers. So if you hear a lot of whining going on, that's what's happening. They're all excited. <laughs> Looks like we got a storm moving out or moving in. I don't know, we had it for a while. Might be moving out. Rad storm. Yeah, I'm looking at, uh, yeah, in fact, just as I started, I looked at my Discord to see what was going on, and 1032 is texting me right now. She can't get in either. I saw her on main menu, and I was noticing that it was a problem. So, yeah. <laughs> All righty, dude. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, go Team Burton. If you can hear me, I'm going to bounce back to their server. I don't want to hog up her uh, sales and shit. Mountain Mama, thank you very much. You betcha. Yeah, okay. Mom, Mom, I'll see you Monday. I'm going to head off to open up another slot. Okay. And I see that um, uh, Max Man's coming. So that's great. He's coming on his alt. I'm probably going to hop on and do my daily stuff. I'll have probably to break the, uh, team rice here. And bean. You bet. I'll probably break team here because of the store situation right now. Oh, it's nice to see you again. I'm going to head off. Thanks for coming by. Always. No problem. Oh, uh, didn't you have somebody looking for a wetsuit schematic? Mm, I think that we made the trade or did something. I remember there was something about either marine armor or wetsuit, um, but I had one. I think maybe we'll, we'll just... Find out if anybody's in need of one because I don't remember if that trade got made or not. I do remember there was something about it, but that's all I can remember. Too many trades okay, to go. But I went ahead and dropped some plans in the uh, the bag with the coffee. Okay, very good. So uh, one of them's the uh, the marine wetsuit. I better get them out because I think if you leave server. Uh, if you're going to stick around, it'll be fine, but if you're going to leave server, the bag disappears. Okay. So I'll, I'll wait for you to off. remove it, and then I'm going to bounce off. Yeah, I've got them, so we're good, so you don't have to worry about them doing it. Okay, well, see you later. Okie doke, people in Streamland. Several people are leaving the server, so maybe you'll be able to get in.
Hi there, Good Maxman. Evening. How you doing? Very well, thank you. How about you? Doing good. You got your mic on tonight, David Dr. Maxman. Great. And you can always type in the uh, chat if the stream chat if you need to. If that's the only way you can talk. Hiya, Ken Po. Hello, hello. I'm brown belt in Ken Po. Or I was before I got old and had shattered ankles and things. Fourth degree black belt. I was in California at the time. And they had, for a while, they had a law that if you went black belt, you had to register for having a concealed weapon. I understand from friends that still live there that that's no longer a problem. Hiya, Tim. How you doing? Um, and um, I, so I never, I could pass it. My instructor wanted me to take the black belt, but I never would take it because I didn't want to have to register. My thing is I want to surprise them. I want basically for them to think I'm just helpless and... They get one good punch in the nose and a knee, and I run like hell. <laughs> that's that's the hardest uh, opponent to defend against, the one that you just don't know is coming. Yeah, yeah. And ten, I'm my I'm uh, also uh, on the stream and so forth, so I'm trying to. Um, talk to you, type to you, type to, uh, talk to them, so if I seem a little bit rattled, that's why. Are you Caliban? How you doing? Doing great, thanks for dropping by. We finally got some room on the server. A lot of people were uh, saying there was a queue and we were having a little bit of trouble. Yeah, I had a queue up for about two, three minutes, but it wasn't bad. Yeah, the other people on the forums were saying, I never see anyone, it's always empty, and I, I've decided I've stolen them all. This server's always full. Okay, let me accept your trade there. Uh, anything, let's see. Um. So someone <laughs> on the forum today was talking about trading. I've got some ultrasite for trade. They okay. said they had some flux that they'd be willing to trade, so I thought I'd drop in here and see if I'd catch them. Do you happen to know who they were? I have to go online and find out. I got it saved in the uh, uh, the Bethesda forum. Let me go look real quick. So I've got a bunch of plans for you. Should I just drop them for you? Uh, you can do that if you want. I always worry about those paper bags disappearing. It frightens me when people drop it. I prefer to trade through a trade window to make sure you don't lose anything. So be very careful, and if you log out, the paper bag will disappear, so I have to snag it out right away. So be uh, be cautious with the paper bag method is all I can say. It's not the safest way to do it in the world. Okay. Do you want to invite I'm, me to trade? We'll I'm trading now, right now. Give me just a moment. I'm checking through the list to see if we, because I have to shift around to make sure that I'm seeing everything that she's offering. The way this works, it sometimes doesn't show what's being offered, so I have to make sure that I've got it all. Uh, does that look like that's everything, Tim? She has to text type, so I wait for her response on text. Well, it looks good then. That was that was great. I got them all. And is there anything there that you wanted for your purposes? Feel free to take anything back that you need. I think so. I let me check. Uh, no, they just showed up. Looks like there's some more things here that I didn't get. Okay, let me get them. Hold on. Like typical, when I shift, all of a sudden things show up that weren't there before. Have I gotten everything now? This is really acting weird tonight. 
having to click twice on everything to get it to move to the various categories. Let's just do the Z and C. That'll be quicker. I, I think I've got everything. Tell me if there's still something that I've missed. And take anything you're interested in for your end. If you've got, no, there's some things that didn't show up until I went back to the other category. That is so weird tonight. It is not loading these to show that they're there. Okay, now I think I've got those. Let's go down this list and see if I've missed anything. I don't think I've missed anything now. Oops, there's an armor chest. Okay. Oh, that one I don't have, I don't think. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Great. We got it all then. Awesome. All right. Now I will... Kenpo, you were the one that went to open trade? Yes, ma'am. Here you come. Now it's confusing to go back and forth between the show all or not. I'm having a little trouble getting it to swap back. Come on now. Is this even working? Yeah, I got some of the things, but I'm trying. There, yeah, I got it back to uh, everything so I can run down the list. I got the first things that you put up, and then it froze up and wouldn't go back to an overall. Now, uh, do you have anything of mine that you want? Look Let me through take my a look stuff. Here. Hold on. Yeah, feel free to look through all my stuff. Trade across the board there. No, I think I'm pretty good. I got lots of stuff to get rid of, though, if you want some well, Very more good. Um, yeah, as long, you know, I say be cautious a little bit because my stash is no bigger than anybody else's. I don't have an in with Bethesda for a bigger stash, much as I wish I did. But uh, I tend to be cautious where it's like a lot of people will come by with things like the plans for the mattress or something. Just dump those in the Flatwoods Overseer's chest because everybody has those, so they're better for the newbies who are just coming. Get them out there where they can get them. I yep, gotcha. Um, I do have an Assaultron blade that I just picked up that I'm sure willing to get rid of. Okay. Do you want to uh, have something pay for it, or how are you going to do it? 
nah, I don't need anything. I also just picked up a bloody broadsider that I'm sure somebody would love. I have had terrible time selling bloodied. Very few people. Okay. Want, I had I had one person came by and says, I'll take all the bloodied you can get. So I saved up a bunch of bloodied and he says, nah, I decided I wasn't interested in bloodied. And then after that, I couldn't get anybody to buy it. So I haven't been taking any bloodied. Well, how about that Assaultron Blade? You want that? Yeah, that sounds like something that some people enjoy, so. There it is. Okie doke. There we go. Oh, I got the hang of this now. Yeah, once you um, use this for a bit, it gets more and more comfortable. You use it back and forth, and eventually it gets fairly comfortable. I've also hey, got a. You've got 50 on that infused blood leaf, but that's pretty common, so I probably won't take that. Oh, sorry, that was an accident. I did not mean to do that. Okay, how about one more item here? I've got a mutant uh, combat rifle. Nice little level 50 item. Is it a legendary? Uh, yes, it is. Oh, that might be of use to somebody. We take a look at it. It's at 50, uh, full condition, yeah. Yeah, that might be of some I, use. There we go. good oh. well that was fun yeah all kinds of stuff you need to get I think I need to get the heck off the server so some other people can get in here oh, I don't know if it's still full other people will leave too we some nights we have like 15 people here at the store it just depends on how many other people are taking up slots elsewhere so with time they slide off and other people come in it's just a matter of timing Fortunately, I, th I think they need to up the servers to about 40, really. Yeah, that but would be nice, because 20, 24 sure seems like a low number. If you are all inviting on the same person, apparently you can get 30. Uh, that's max, but it has to be, you know, groups all joining on me or something like this before you can get 30. But it's tricky to get that, but mostly it's 24. And right now, people are saying their servers are empty, and I doubt they're going to up it if they're if they've got empty servers. So I don't know. But with me, I have the opposite problem. I have people waiting. I wonder how true oh. that is. I've seen that posted a couple of times about people being on servers all by themselves. I'm not really sure if that's a true. Story. If you look at your list, and uh, of the recents and so forth not friends, but the recents, there's an awful lot of names that are on the server. And I think a lot of them are not being picked up or stealth or are down in the mine or whatever. So I think there's more than they think there are. I don't think the server actually ever has just one person. I really doubt Yeah, that. I don't either. I'm almost wondering if that recent list isn't just sort of like a, uh, uh, a building list of Say you jump to two servers, it takes all the names from both and just puts them in a big list. Well, they're not showing all these people that are showing on recent are showing as if they are on this server, and they are showing bright white. They are not showing grayed out, and they are not showing just online like they are on another server. So I think, you know, I've got this long list that's on here and I think that these people are probably on this server you just don't see them when you look at the map I don't know I, I'm not gonna live or die by that statement but it seems to me from the way they're presenting them that it is somebody who's actually on it and I'm going to look down 
I don't see anybody like people who came up and just friended me a few minutes ago kind of thing. They're not on that list. I just counted mine. There's over 50 names on my list right now for recent. I just, I don't know how that works, but I know that none of the people that came by recently by the store are on this list. They would have been recent. So this is based on something besides that. So I can't I tell recognize you. a lot of the names from the server I was just on before I bounced over here. Maybe that's <clears> On it. my recents. I wasn't on another server. I came directly to this one. So I don't know. I, I can't tell you and Bethesda isn't saying, so I don't know. Yeah, they're pretty tight-lipped about a lot of stuff right now. A lot of things that you don't really understand why they're tight-lipped about. Why would they be tight-lipped about how the recent works? I don't understand. I'm sure it's so they don't disclose some top-secret information about their servers. They're just cloud servers. What's to disclose? <laughs> exactly right. So on your uh, post for your uh, notification just a few minutes ago, I, I typed a question at the end there, and it might be easier to answer now. I asked you, uh, how do you get those lists of your inventory on the screen so you can post them? I have, I use Corel, and you can do a, a screen crop. You can hit a button on Corel, and it will bring up a drag cursor that you can capture any portion of a screen that you want. What you would have to do if you don't have a program like Corel or Photoshop is you would have to uh, take a screenshot and then pull it up on any editing program and crop, crop it down to just the portion of the inventory that you want. Oh, I got you. So it, does it run okay in the background and doesn't interfere with the client at all? It doesn't with me, but I have a pretty powerhouse computer. So I can't. Interesting. I was kind of. Just a matter of what kind of computer you have. Yeah, I was curious how you did that because I have never been able to get the photo screen to come up during my inventory. Uh, the other thing you might. Well, I don't think that would work. I don't think taking their their pictures would work. But I think you're you're. Your screenshot is probably your best bet. Oh, I see you want to trade. Let me grab that. Um, but yeah, I just, I pull, I put Corel. Um, it's a special program, screen capture program that I put up in the background. Then I bring up the game, bring up my thing and just crop these and pop them over one after the other. Bam, 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 bam. Then shrink them down to the size that I need and post it online. So it's very quick for me. Well, nicely done either way. You got the armor. Let me set it to zero. There you go. Just hit spacebar on that item and you'll have it, 10. There you go. Awesome. Is that, did I catch everything or was there anything I missed on this glitching inventory tonight? Let me double check here, see if I missed anything. I think I got it all. Let me know on chat if there's anything that I didn't see. And when I break out, i got to drink something again, of course. I wonder if I've got my camp slow down perk card. may not have it on. I'm sure I'm going to drink a lot tonight. I'm drinking a lot tonight. I just can't lay off the booze. I drink a lot every night. I can't lay off the booze tonight. Well, thank you. This was extremely fun and entertaining, and uh, I'm going to go dump some stuff at the Overseer Cache. Very good. And 10, nope, those are available too if somebody wants them. I've run them so many times that I'm selling the selling off the treasure maps too. So, whoops, did not mean to hit that. Let's try it again. 
So if you want those, feel free. One good thing about meeting here is it actually makes forum posters, uh, people, they're real. They actually do exist. Yeah. yeah, that's part of why I'm streaming. You want one or two of those forests? They all, several of them have two. You only want one? Just needed to know how many you needed. That'll work. Okay, did I get them all? I think I did. Looks like I did. Okay. They are yours to learn those plans that I got that I don't know, too. Yeah, I figured streaming tonight would be good because it makes me into a real person, not just a tune on the screen. some ghouls attacking. Ah, I've always got ghouls attacking. At least they're low levels here, so you don't have to worry much. Like I say, my worst problem is there's an event that happens very, very rarely. I've only seen it about three times. It's called March of the Mole Rats, and it comes from the from that direction up there and they come straight across the stream and right through my place like this, straight across there. <laughs> this whole stream of mole rats comes through, which is always fun. I don't think I've actually seen that one yet. I did see the Pod Piper though. Yeah, he's fun too. <laughs> A whole line of mole rats or red rats or whichever it is behind him. Not scrolling through the list. Let's see. Go from uh, whoops. I don't know what happened there. I go across with the Z and the C to the various categories too, which will help narrow it down, so that you're seeing one category at a time. That sometimes helps to do it. And so, tonight it's been glitchy. I tried to get it to move across the thing, and it wasn't shifting categories and so forth. So it may just be glitchy tonight. Right. Nice to see everyone. I'm out of here. Very good. Take Glad care. you could come by. Hey, Triple X. What's up, Mama? Hi, Triple X. Hey, what's up? I yeah, I had to work a little late tonight. Yeah, we were wondering where you were. We always figured you're going to be by. Who well, was... of course, the one night I want to, I have to do a little extra at the shop. Um, I think it was duty that is looking for you to put some mods on was it duty or was it 
whoever bought the first stuff that I had uh, wanted you to put it on for him, so I don't know. The mods he ought to be able to put on, so it's, I can't think what it was. Something he wanted you to do to some armor, anyway. But he yeah, had well, to leave. Right by, I'll get him. Yeah, sooner or later, you guys will meet up. I'll have to look at the video and find out who it was at the beginning. So, do it. And you bet. Dr. Maxman, thanks for coming by. I've got extra chats on tonight because I've got the stream chat on as well for Twitch. So, got things popping all over. Yeah, I'm going to go check it out probably at work tomorrow while i got some downtime. Yeah, you'll be able to do the YouTube at your convenience, which is always handy. Oh, yeah. I never had that big an audience online, but I have a big audience with the YouTubes because a lot of people can only watch them a little at a time or whatever. They can't watch them all at once. Or it's up too late for them or, you know, whatever. So they... I need some liquid soup. Uh, well, thanks for doing this. Good seeing you again. Have a yeah. good night. Always glad when you guys come by. Thanks very much for dropping in. Yeah, take care. There we go. Got my health up again. You fixed good for everything you need there, Triple X? Uh, I'm probably going to take a look at your plans, see if there's any stray ones I don't have. Hang on just a moment. I just got three that I didn't know, and I'm going to grab those real quick. There you go. Yeah, mine's far and few between now. Yeah, same here. So I grab those right away when I get them. Because, boy, it's a big list of known. Okay, there we go. All right, now it's all good stuff. And even that All Rise now tonight, I managed to trade for another All Rise. So now even the All Rise is available. Hey, we might have to talk here, Mama. <laughs> Very slightly down in condition. I would, I would uh, patch it up for you if you wanted it. I will definitely take an all rise because you said you got two, right? Yes, that one that's in there uh, is up for grabs. I put mine away. <laughs> <laughs> Smart girl. You I'll definitely to, take that. Let let me. Uh, you want me to go uh, fix repair that real quick? Yeah, sure. That'd be cool. Let me go do that, and then we'll trade. I can even put a heavy rocket on it. Let me do that if I've... Yeah. I still don't know what happened to my other all rise. That's the one weapon I lost, and I'm not sure how I lost it. Not 
Okay, come on, I'm gonna modify. And, well, maybe I don't have the, that's, why is it not, it's not telling me why it's not going on. I can't get the heavy rocket on it. I don't know why. It's not giving me any indication of why I can't build it. I've got the ingredients, but it doesn't say I need a perk card. I don't know. I can't seem to get the heavy rocket on it. Anyway, let me go back here and get it repaired at least. Yeah, I'll take a look at her. Let me try it with it repaired, see if that's rocket. Right. The eating coil's grayed out. That one I need makeshift warrior four, so I need a card up. But the heavy rocket, I don't know why it's not going on it. Should be able to, but it's not. So I don't know. Hmm. I don't That's know on that one. Anyway. And I'm going to go through your plans real quick, see if there's anything I don't know. And Mama, I was wondering, what if I offered one of these up? Just a second, let me get these zeroed out on the only one toilet. I don't think you want two. <laughs> we got that. We actually got something like that at work. We call it the Thunderdome. Don't ask me why, but two toilets are right next to one another <laughs> without a wall. We joke and say, you want to go use the Thunderdome together? I'm like, nah, man, I'm good. <laughs> I think that place has been there since like 1940, though, so that might be why. And then Trapper, ah, come on, move down. I want this one. Thank you. Mouse is not scrolling. You know, when you're trying to pick out one item that you want to sell or ten items that you want to sell to the vendor, the thing jumps all over the place. And you can't get oh, the thing. I know. Here, it's, it wants you to charge 500 for it, and it takes forever for it to scroll down. It's like, why do you jump like mad when I'm trying to fine-tune it but won't move at all here? All right, so we've got... The six items that you wanted there, and yep. have, you, have you got anything offered up? Oh, yeah. Ooh, I was ooh, thinking, ooh, ooh, how about one of those? Because those go ooh, for about 2000 and you ooh, say you go for half, ooh, right? Ooh, <laughs> I take it that's a good trade? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'll do my Mickey Mouse routine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What about that other one I gave you? Did you ever, was you I, ever I able to use it? I just got my two uh, starch jeans, but I don't have room for a double starch jeans. I'm waiting for my next level, and I'm going to swap a perk. Oh, and, man, and I'm, I, that's, like, that's my favorite mutation. Yeah. Like I said, right, the point at which I said, okay, I've got to do this marsupial, we were out fighting the queen, and the others were jumping up to her when she wouldn't land, and they were jumping up on tanks and getting off the ground so that the all the scorched weren't hitting them and everything. And I'm like, okay, I really need this mutation. Uh, it's, it helps out. Well, as a stealth build, I don't really have a whole lot in uh, the defense and stuff. I, I'm more like shoot and move. And yeah. uh, marsupial helped me stay away so much better. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. 
And so I'm, I'm definitely going to do it. I've got my rad shower built, so I'm set for that. And um, as soon as I get one more level, the first thing that's going to happen is I'll swap out a perk into luck. So I can, I've got one perk right now, but I need two in order to be able to use the double maxed perk card. So, yep. Almost there. You almost got it. Oh, well, I think it's almost that time, ain't it, Mom? Yeah, it is, and we don't have a big enough group to go do a Death Claw Island run. I was thinking maybe we'd do uh, do that if we had a whole bunch of people, but uh, we don't have a big group tonight, so we'll do that another night. That yep. is no problem. Yeah, yeah, I. Uh, that, you're right, gamer. I'm, <laughs> I'm real happy to get that. Yes. I am also trying to save for the ability to make them, so I've almost got it. How much do I have anyway? I'm up to 15,000, so I'm, I'm getting there with the with all of the perk cards and the great mentats. I can get him down to about 18,000, so I'm you almost know, I'm there. Not, I'm not sure where I got it. It might have been from the Scorch Queen, but uh, I don't know. I just I went looking through my loot one day, and I had that recipe. That's awesome. I'm going to be getting it from the medical wing, so or science wing, I guess it is. But so I'll be paying through the nose for it. But I'm I'm getting there. Almost got it. Little by there little. There you go. So then I'll be able to make those, and if they go away, I can put it back on, or I can sell them at the store, or whatever. What do you need for them to make them? What ingredients go into making them? Well, I'll be honest with you. Where's the? Is there? Oh, the workbenches are over there. Yeah, Kim benches over next door. I know it's like a lot of flux. I think. Figures. <laughs> Everything's flux, and I, I just Always. I've run several nuke zones in the last week and a half, but I keep coming back with like nine of ten fluxes for a stable. So I, I'm like, oh. no, they're going to go bad. No, it's actually not that bad. Uh, it was a, it takes three fiberglass, five oil, one pure crimson flux, and one piece of ultracite. Okay. Not too bad. No, it's not bad. But yeah, if you need any until you get some uh, recipes, let me know. I'm still sitting on two of them. Well, I'm, I'm going to hang on these because... As soon as I can get that starch jeans up, I will definitely have it on me. I just don't want to waste it. It's too good. Oh, for sure. The only thing I had a hard time with was uh, not using Radaway anymore. Because if you use Radaway, it suppresses your jeans, and the next yeah. thing you know, you can't jump. Right. Yep. But then it, it comes back. It does come back. Yeah, because if you got starch genes on and you take a rat away, it won't get rid of your mutation. It just okay. suppresses it for like, I don't know. I've only done it a couple times, but it's uh, it's long enough to get on your nerves. Uh, but at least I don't have to like retake the, ser the serum or something? No, it's just like if you're in dire straits or like if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you're about to be, you know, die from rats or whatever and you have to take a rat away. The only yeah. thing it's going to do is to suppress it for like an hour. Okay. Then after that hour, okay. all your powers come back. Okay. Yeah. That that I can live with that if you know I'm desperate. I'll just not carry many rataways on me and only use it when I'm really desperate. But between hazmat suits, power armor, and then excuse me, having the um, rad shower back there, which everybody seems to agree that as long as you have the double starched that the shower won't suppress it at all, so... No, that's the fact that... I quit using right away, and I built a shower in my house for that reason. So every time I come back from a loot trip or an outing, I'll just run straight through the shower. And then uh, it doesn't it doesn't reduce your effects or anything. It just gets rid of your rads. Okay, just always make sure enough. your jeans are on when yeah. you run through it, though. Well, I'll be leaving it on permanently um, uh, once I get it shifted. Um, I tried to put the rad shower inside the house, but it I apparently got to take the roof off and then put it back on. And 
Yeah, it didn't want to go. It, it, on the upper floor, it insisted that it was floating, which it wasn't. Yeah. I tried to build it in the tool shed, took out the things and tried to build the, more or less build the tool shed around it uh, because it was up on the cement floor thing. It insisted it was floating. So I guess I'm going to have to build a little house just for it or something. I don't know. Well, I was having that problem in my place. And like you said, you just got to remove everything above it. Yeah. And uh, I think I got two floors. I had to remove the roofs and the floor, and then I think even one wall. And then it let me put it, and then you could stack stuff all back on top of it because mine's in my basement. Yeah, let's see. I could probably put the tinker bench over by the chair and then put the uh, shower over here near where the picture is now do something like that if I can get it to take on the flooring that's the problem that it keeps insisting it's floating on the flooring oh I didn't have that problem mine kind of sinks into it a little bit or it did yeah the the building uh, the magic used in the building is known but to a few very ancient arcane mag magicians. It's very <laughs> arcane magic in the building of these things. Well, very good. It was a fun night. We had a pretty good group. Not the biggest group we've ever had, but a fun group that came by and got a lot of things and traded for a lot, so it was a good night. We had a good first stream, so we might do this once a week or something. Yep, I always enjoy it. Wish I wasn't late today. Well, work, life comes first. I, I'm always adamant about that. You know, people are never on their deathbed Go, will go, gee, I wish I played more games instead of seeing my grandkids. Nope. Not sure that, but I'm, I, I always tell people, you always hear a lot of people on their deathbed saying, I work too much also. <laughs> exactly, yeah. But I'm saying you play games instead of working, you're going to starve. So it's all a trade-off. Exactly. You got a little happy medium there. Yep. All work and no play makes you a dull boy, so you got to do a little play. That's right. All right, Okey Mama. Doke. Well, hey, it was good. I'll catch I you later. I will see you next week. Bye-bye, Monday. And with that, I will start logging off on the stream as well. Thank you guys for joining me and checking in on us. It was good to have a group to chat to on the stream, so that was, that was excellent too. And these will be up on my YouTube, which I also had posted in that forum channel if you need to find the Crohn's Crucible lists of them. Like I said, you have to go through a bunch of D&D &D to find it. But hopefully the fallouts will get more as I pick up a few of those. So we ought to get to see more and more of the fallout ones, which I'd like to see up there instead of just the D and D. I'll have to investigate see if I can't categorize them so people can find them a little bit easier. But just search under if you don't have the link, just search under Crohn's Crucible, and you'll find these things. I'm known as the Crone, the evil Crone, the Hag when I DM my evil games on D&D, &D, so we have a lot of fun on that. I have a great game group that we have played for years on MMOs together, so they work really well together. like the group very much. The famous Apophon from the evil days of WoW when we were the villains, so it's a good group to play with. And I also recommend a sorry site who does a lot of Fallout streaming. It's all one word. A sorry site, all one word, A S O R R Y S I G H T. And he does a lot of Fallout and other Bethesda games streaming. He is a great streamer as well, so enjoy his as well if you like some Fallout streams. He is a positive player. He's fun in games and not down on the game, so it's good to listen to his. I like him, I enjoy his. And with that, I will wish you good night in Twitch land. Thank you for joining us, and join us, I hope, next week. We'll try to do this again, not once a week. So I'll see you then. Good night, all.